Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your Farming Simulator 15 Mod Spotlight. Today, oh I've got a few mods. Uh, some are gonna go straight into Let's Play without me spotlighting them because they're damn near impossible to spotlight. Um, <laughs> I know it's weird. So our first mod is actually going to involve the pickup. Now this is the default in-game pickup. So why on earth would I be showing it? Be uh, needing it for a mod spotlight? Well, if I hold down shift, you can see I've got a camera mod in. And this is the one that Ian Robson uses. It's better keyboard camera, or better keyboard steering. And what it does is it moves the camera. <coughs> so, I'm just pressing left and right here. I don't have my hand on my mouse, I swear. And if I shift it into reverse, the camera swaps to reverse, shift to forward, it does that. So it's not great with the keyboard, but with a wheel, it is very smooth, uh, by the looks of it. And the uh, camera locks like that, which is nice. So as you're turning, the camera will move. I'm not quite sure why it's off-center like that. Why is the camera off-center like that? That's center. Left. Right. Center. Okay. So, it turns itself on in each vehicle individually, and it um, you can disable the adaptive steering, which locks the wheel like that. You can turn off the, the movement entirely, and you can just turn off the backwards looky thingy. So, that's actually a really good script. I just spotlighted because I wanted it. Um, there, there are going to be another couple of scripts appearing that I'm not spotlighting because, well, it involve a heck of a lot of work to spotlight them. So, let's go into our mods. And today I have to try and remember what I have, which isn't exactly right. Um, I, uh, it's probably gone up by now. Did a little fun vehicle uh, video with the Model A and the Moco mowers from last time. Turns out the Model A can power them. Not sure how. Uh, did I download? No. Completely lost at the moment. Well done me. I've just downloaded these mods as well. Uh, yes, first up we have the Bomford Dynadrive S. It's a cultivator. It's actually a rotary plow. Um, or a rotivator, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, 10,000 to buy, 150 a day to own. Uh, no idea how much it requires, but I would guess a powerful tractor. Something over 100 horsepower at least. So let's buy that. Uh, also, I guess it's about 3 meters. Because, of course, it doesn't tell you. Uh, nothing in sewing machines, nothing in sprayers, nothing in slurry tanks. Moors is the main part of our spotlight today. First up, we have the Sipma Preria 1600 mower. It's a Sipma, and it's 2100 to buy, 25 a day to own, and I think it's about 3 meters. I will check, somehow. And second off, we have the Galucho CM1800, 1200 to buy, 5 8 to own, and this is a essentially a brush hog. So let's buy that, and is that it for today? Yes, that's it for today. We've got slim pickings, only three um, implements. So, to power them, I will buy three New Holland T6, well, two T6s, because one is going to be just for the cultivator here. So, let's start off with this T6, and as you can see, the keyboard steering thingy is going. Let's get this on the back. Oh god, that's really off-putting at times. Let's attach. Okay, can we turn it on? Okay, so it's an unpowered... It's unpowered, apparently. Okay. Guess it belies itself. So uh, let's just get it into this field down here, and you can see <laughs> you can see some past mod, mod spotlights have caught up with me slightly, and there's uh, actually seeded ground here, so I'm gonna cultivate that under. The uh, cultivator is quite heavy, apparently very heavy, so you probably want a front weight if you're doing this normally. 
this is just me testing it. And it does work with the hired worker. It's, yeah, it's around about 3 meters, so I'm just going to leave that go. Next up, the mowers. And we'll start off with the galucho, because it's closer. So look, let's get out quick, very quickly and look at the model. Uh, no normal files, and it, it flickers a bit. It's very monolithically orange. And you can see all the reflections break if I get a bit too close. Or just look at it at the right, wrong angle. It's very monolithically orange. The Galucho just looks a bit pixelated and silly on it. Um, and the rear wheel is actually... Uh, I'm going to call it an icosagon. Looks like it's got about 20 sides. It's not that it looks bad. It's that it... It's not modelled very well. I'm trying to look underneath it and I can't. I'm guessing it's just... This is the entire mod. I like the sound. The sound is good. So let's lower it and see what it does. Hang on, did I see something? Oh no, they have actually modeled fan, uh, blades in there. So I can see them rotating about. Yes, yeah, so if you turn it on, you can see the blades rotating, and they do have an acceleration to them, which is nice. So let's do this and get going, and it's not great on uneven ground, but it does mow and it does leave grass behind, so this is, this is really something you'd be using in and around the trees, so if you've got um, a lot of, you know, if you've planted up a field of grass and just put trees in it, like this kind of, this kind of setup here, although you're probably be using fir trees or apple trees or, you know, whatever kind of trees you have. Um, I don't personally use the UPK trees all that much, never, but um, this is pretty much designed to, uh, to be used around them. And it's a good mower, it's something that it works, which is more than can be said for a lot of mods. Next up, this is the Sitma. And it's a lot smaller than 3 meters, I can tell you that straight away. But, um... I kind of want it. Uh, just to... Oh! It's got a swathing option, which is nice. Because I can... Because it lifts up so high, I can look underneath it and see the turtles. And that looks reasonably well modelled. I would expect the more to look something like that. So what happens if I... Please tell me those move if I enable widespreading. Oh, uh, these should move. Widespreading, these should move out, so... Let's enable swath deposit. And lower them up. And we'll turn on the more first of all. Yeah, so all the... Everything moves, that's always good. It sounds like a more. Let's lower it. And it tips backwards slightly. Let's get mowing a bit and see what happens. So it looks like it tries to windrow itself, um, but it does win. It does mow and leave a swath. So what happens if I run over these? Oh, it is just it is genuinely just a swath deposit. So let's enable wide spreading. That's nice. This is yeah. So this is kind of very good if you're using. Uh, a lot of, if you're trying to make a lot of hay. And the mower doesn't stop instantly. Yes, I like this mod. Uh, this is gonna this is gonna be really useful if you're if you're um, the kind of person who makes a lot of hay or a lot of silage, you can do wide spreading for hay and swath deposit for silage and then grow up the swaths. Uh, I'm not gonna check if this gets dirty. I am gonna check if the cultivator gets dirty, because it should be dirty by now. Uh, so let's um, Yes, I haven't finished tidying up. Oh yeah, John, John Deere was upside down. Um, I'll talk about that in a moment. Alright, so this does not appear to have a dirt skin. Which, to be completely blunt, doesn't surprise me entirely. Um, 
A lot of modders don't like dirt skins because it's extra work. A lot of people, a lot of modders don't like throwing in normal files, etc., because it's a lot of work. But the thing is, those are kind of necessary to bring it up to giant standard. And giants have said, oh, "I standard this," you know, with FS15. I mean, just look at the, the T6; it's getting a bit dirty. So I guess this might have a dirt, dirt skin, but it's not showing up yet. The T6 and the giant stuff is actually a lot higher standard than some of the mods. And yes, some of the mods that I've seen do have fancy IC and gimmicky crap in them, but that's all it is, gimmick, gimmicky crap. Does it even attach properly? It does attach properly, if only just. <laughs> um, a lot of the mods are just kind of... Well, here's six... Oh dear. A lot of the mods are just. Well, here's six gimmicks. Uh, let's, you know, deal with it. So, um. I'm not quite sure what those giant blocks are. Is that the edge of the map I'm seeing over there? Possibly. Um. This is the hitbox for the cultivator, and I didn't think that'd be an issue, because, you know, it's a short cultivator, so just make a short hitbox. No, it's. Freaking huge. This is the back of the cultivator. Right here. Right where I'm standing is the, the end of the hitbox. So, um, <laughs> that's a that's definitely an issue. It, that, this is a powered cultivator. It should have, number one, a PTO shaft, which it doesn't. And number two, this should be, you know, you should be able to switch, can I get in? Yes. You should be able to switch these knives on. And, you know, this is essentially a rotary plow with a cultivating function. So these should be able to switch on. You should be able to plow with this. And none of that is evident here. And yes, it is a Bomford, which is a... I believe it's a... British company. Why does that say Ford Bomb? Um, they somehow managed... The modern... I, don't know how they managed to do this. They've somehow managed to screw up the company's name. This is a Bomford Dynadrive S. It's not a Ford Bomb Dynadrive S. So, yeah, that. Don't bother with the Bomford Ford Bomb Dynadrive S. It's. It's got a nice model, but that's about it. I'm gonna be honest. And it needs. For a cultivator, which giants have no shortage of, of cultivators made, and there's more coming in, in um, gold edition or silver if you're on uh, 360 or PS3, just because giants decided to rename it for the consoles for whatever reason, don't get this. It's not worth your time. The hitbox is huge. It doesn't have any gimmicky functions, which would be some sort of you know, saving grace for it, but it doesn't. So yeah, don't don't bother with the bomb for forward bomb thing. Over here to the other who over here to the mowers, and yes, I'm keeping the hitboxes on because I want to check the hitboxes. Where did I put the other one down here? So the Sitmas hitbox is. I'm just gonna drive over here. Do -do -do -do. Okay. Hitboxes for the Sigma are quite simple. One here and one over here, so you can... Apparently this has a sm really small hitbox hidden inside of it or something. Also that. Which I haven't seen before. That is odd. Showing the X, Y, and Z axis. The Galucho has a really tiny hitbox. Which makes it even more... <laughs> Comically, the t teeny tiny hitbox in the Galucho, which is basically just the three point, makes it more useful. Because <laughs> um, the entire point of it is as a brush hog if you're going around trees. So the smaller the hitbox on it, the better. I mean, you can pretty much go through trees with it. And you can get right up close to them and mow, yeah, mow your meadows that have trees in them clean. 
Um, personally, uh, of the three mods, four if you include the script, I'm not going to include the script right now. Of the three mods that I've looked at today, Sipma's the best. By quite a while. Uh, the texture work could do with a small bit of work. Um, I'd prefer to see the textures being a bit more defined and a bit more HD. But, it's a nice model. It has nice textures. They're not the best textures, but they're nice. The animation under here works perfectly. It looks realistic. It has good functionality. I mean, Swath Deposit is something that is just... Giants have done it in all of their mowers, but it's not great for um, for making hay. And I've kind of done that in Nussen is I've chosen a mower intentionally. The number one, the number one consideration in Nussen behind the mower that's just far too small for Nussen was that I wanted a mower that didn't have swath deposit by default, which is why I've got the teeny tiny one. And it's better for hay making because. It looks better. <laughs> but with this Sipma now, I'm probably going to buy it in, in Nuston and uh, head down the way of the Sipma more. Um, yeah, this is definitely going into my lot folders. It's a small moor. It's cheap. I would... Sipma tends to be the, a bit of a, a budget brand for moors. I know this. I know Sipma moors are actually quite good value for money. And quite good, um... Can I fold this? Yes! Yes! Sipma mowers are quite good value for money. Can I turn around and let's fold it? <laughs> so there's the animation of the Sipma. For all to see. The Sipma mowers, um... Tend to be small, good value for money, low power mowers, so... If you got older vehicles but want newer mower the Sipma is probably the way to go in real life, so that's probably what I'm going to do in Nustin. Galucho is very, very good. High quality, high-ish quality. Could do with a lot of work. No mod is ever perfect. The Sipma I like, but it could do with work. The Galucho is brilliant, but it could do with a, bit of wor a lot of work. Um, normal files, just to remove the um, blocky look. Better wheel. And, a bit, and better wheel textures would be nice. Uh, fixing the AO issue that causes the this to happen. The color completely changes. You know, that needs a bit of work. The Sipma needs a bit of work. The Bomford Ford Bomb needs a lot of work. And I would not recommend it right now. If the mod author comes back and brings out a V2 or whatever. With more features and more stuff. And all of the issues fixed. Yes, get it, but not right now. And finally, the Better Keyboard Steering Mod, which I believe is the name. Um, if you got a keyboard, it's probably going to get really old really fast. I've just realized what the problem was, is that the uh, camera wasn't... The wheels weren't centralized when I was setting up. This is going to get really annoying really quickly if you're using a keyboard, but with a G27 or a wheel, uh, any kind of wheel, I just personally got a G27, so that's the one I'm going to kind of revert to. Um, or even possibly an Xbox controller, if you play with that. I think this is a mod that you should consider, because it saves you having to fiddle with the mouse all the time. And you know, it does make things look a bit, just that bit more realistic. Because there is nobody in the world that if I just took shift C, that will drive along and turn 90 degrees, or 360 degrees, looking dead straight forward. You would always... It does help if I hit the right button. You would always move your head so that you're looking out the window. Or if you're reversing, you'd look out the rear window. I've just noticed one thing about the Sipma that I dislike. And it might only be when it's folded up. Um, I'm not seeing a PTO. 
Yeah, there's no PTO on the Sigma, and it's... That's literally the biggest issue I've found. Um... But this is a, a more that I would thoroughly recommend if you want to... I know Giants already have a small side mower for your three-point, but this Sigma just seems better. And definitely the swath deposit seems better. I mean, it's small, yes, so... You know, if you want an even smaller mower than the uh, small Pottinger, Pottinger, or instead of getting the front mower as a small mower, you can just use this Sigma. Um, I suppose you can even mod it into a front mower if you really, really wanted to. But this is a mower that, and I don't normally, you know, say this is a this is a mod you should definitely have. But this is a mod you should definitely have because number one, it means you can mow grass a lot sooner in save games if you're on hard. Yes, collecting the grass would be an issue, but you can mow a lot faster. Instead of getting the, um, I think it's the Oko I use on Lustin at the moment. That thing is really good as a tiny mower, but that's what it is, a tiny mower. And trust me, that thing for the, the field, the meadows even on Lustin, which admit, admittedly they're not the biggest meadows in farm sim, but those meadows um, doing all of the bailing work there was 12 hours plus more than 12 hours um, no it wasn't I lie oh no it was it was actually more than 12 hours of, of uh, working whereas this more I've just realised you can go 21 kilometres an hour this more uh, that's a bit of an issue 22 also, you can drive straight through trees. That was just me being silly again. But yeah, sip no more. Seriously good. The best of the, the mods today. Um, camera mod can be annoying, but... Again, it's, it's just down to... Uh, keyboard is analog. No, it's not analog. It's digital. It's a zero or a one. It's on or it's off. Steering wheel is analog, analog which means you can have... 0.3 or 0.2 and hold 0.2 or whatever. So yeah, um, I'll be honest. I, I kind of found it hard to find mods this week because it seems to be a slow week for mods, as most weeks tend to be. And most of the mods I found, I was going to show John Deere, but I uh, translated the comments from German, and the comments were that it doesn't work. Um, so I decided against even downloading it. So I think I'm going to leave it here. Thank you all very, very much for watching. Until next time, and I'll have a map spotlight tomorrow. Uh, I know the map. I've already got it downloaded and in my mod in my mod folder. It's going to be from FSUK. It's an oldish map. It's not Chellington Extended, which is released recently. Uh, not going to cover that in the map, map spotlight because I've already covered Chellington. Um, but yeah, I'm going to cover a different map this week. Uh, so thank you all once again very much for watching. Until next time, stay safe and goodbye.